hope you're okay. We're looking at Jesus and the eyewitnesses, uh, Gospels as eyewitness testimony. Richard Ball from 2006, published by Erdman. We're on page 7. He writes, uh, concerning Vincent Taylor, Borkham says he went on to point out that the eyewitness participants in the events of the gospel narratives did not go into permanent retreat for at least a generation. They moved among the young Palestinian communities and through the preaching of fellowship, the, re the reconstructions were at the disposal of those who sought information. So what Borkham is saying, quoting Vincent Taylor, a scholar, is that actually these key important people like Peter and James and people like that, they didn't just disappear off the scene uh, straight away. They were preaching and they were passing on their beliefs to other people. And if this is the case, there will be a strong historical core about Jesus that is reliable within that participation. He quotes Martin Hengel. I personally think of the Jesus tradition with particular um, I can't read that word. Um, I personally think of the Jesus tradition, uh, or more precisely, the memory and missionary preaching, uh, as historically undeniable. That's Martin Hengel, he quotes. What, what he's saying is that you can't get away from the fact that if you say that Jesus didn't rise from the dead, Jesus didn't exist, whatever, you can't get away from the fact that it's undeniable that the early tradition of Jesus, that they actually believed that he did rise from the dead, that they, be they believed in the, the historical, uh, the miracles and all the rest of Jesus' mission. They believed that and that's what they were preaching. That can't be denied. So someone said, well, they, they, they saw a, a, an imaginary Jesus. They saw imaginary miracles. The point is that they didn't say that. They said they saw Jesus do miracles. They said they saw Jesus rise from the dead. That's the fact that we have to deal with. And that's what Balcom is saying. If we get to the eyewitness material, once we start to take that seriously, then we've got to deal with that fact, those facts. The word trident, that's the word. Yeah. Martin Gengel, I personally think of the Jesus tradition with particular trident, so more precisely than met their memory and missionary preaching is historically undeniable. The word trident uh, means the person who delivers or handles, hands over uh, any property to another. So they're the people who are handing over, in this particular case, the story of Jesus. Um, now, we'll leave it at that and we'll get on to another video.